Hi, welcome to Witch Peace Craft. My name is Judy and I am your host for May's Amigurumi Wars 2023. I'm extremely honoured to be hosting May for our event organiser Anita at y.o.h crochet. May also happens to be my birthday month, so we have a lot to celebrate in May. So let's get started. Now, if you're new to Amigurumi Wars and you want to join in, because it's never too late to join in, please go to the link below and check out the rules on Anita's channel, just so you know everything that's involved. I could go over all the rules, but it would take forever. It's just easier for you to click on the link and watch the rules of Amigurumi Wars 2023, because they're a little different from 2022. So, I'll get my notes. <laughs> Dun -dum -dum. Basically, Amigurumi Wars works on a point system. One point for a free pattern, two points for a paid-for pattern, three points for a featured designer pattern. Now, the featured designer is announced by Anita a few days into the month of May. She's extremely busy at the moment, so we'll just have to be patient. And if you buy a featured pattern from the designer, you will get three points if you make that. Now, the one point free pattern, it has to be something that I've sort of set a standard for myself. I am a toddler amigurumi maker. Now, I made this would be the first thing I made a few years back. My friend Ulia got me onto this. Now, this is a travel plushy owl, it's a free pattern, and it took me about half an hour to make. It has a button nose. I have made some um, this year with a stitched nose and to get a point I made two so that's sort of the guideline of what you should be making it should take you if it only takes you half an hour then it's only not going to be worth a full point but that's just some my guide I will be using to score your points on your amigurumi for you now I hope that's self-explanatory really if you've been making Amigurumi for a while. For those who participate in Amigurumi Wars May, there will be a $25 gift voucher a, um, random draw at the end for one lucky participant. Your name will go in the draw to, uh, depending on the number of points you have accumulated. So if you have one point, your name will go once. If you have 10 points, I will put your name 10 times in there. I'll put them all on a wheel and I'll pick someone at random. Now the $25 gift voucher, I prefer to use PayPal. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it could be Amazon. I have had a, a participant on my channel win something recently and she wanted $25 worth of Ravelry patterns she picked, which is fine by me. The $25 is in your currency, not mine, because I am down under in Australia. So it's just $25. That's it. And one lucky person will be drawn at the end of our month to win that voucher. Now, because it's the month of May, I thought I would do some bonus points for my birthday. So being May, my birthstone is emerald. And those who have been subscribed to my channel for a while will know. I am not a fan of green. My favourite colour is orange. Green is not my favourite colour. It's way down there on the list. However, I have decided that apparently if you want to get over your dislike of something or fear of something, you should be saturated with it until it just becomes part of your personality or makeup. And that hopefully my distaste for green will improve. So during the month of May, if you make something in green, you will get a bonus point. Now, it has to be at least 70% green. I'll show you what I mean. This is one of my favourite Anita patterns from Anita, the Ballard Bear. Now, this is a green I don't mind. This and mint green, everything in between, yuck. So you could make the Ballard Bear. Isn't it cute? I have not tried to sell this or give it away. I really like this. So it was my dog. He keeps trying to get it. 
So this is available on Anita, uh, Anita's Ravelry shop. I'll put a link to all her patterns in the description below. She also has another pattern called Jumping Jacks, which is a frog. I've made that and I sold that at a market store. Um, she has the rock star bear which she made because last year I ran, I ran a make along rock 2022 AU and I made that and that went to a good home. The rock star bear is awesome. You could make it in green. So remember to get a bonus point, make something in green, at least 70% green. Now the other thing is I have quite a few subscribers and friends in the UK. And the 6th of May is my birthday and it also happens to be the coronation of King Charles III, their new king, the same day. So I've had a few ask me, what I thought you could do is make an amigurumi to do with a coronation and get yourself a bonus point. Now that means not just the colours of the coronation, actual means a piece of amigurumi. One of the patterns I found that I think is really cute, Wobble Ball, Wobble Ball Amigurumi Guard. That's a beef eater. That's an English um, guard. They will be on parade at the coronation. So a prince, a queen, princess, anything royal to do with the coronation, you will get yourself a bonus point. Also, for those people who make green or a coronation item, there'll be a separate little prize draw. What I've decided to do is I will give away two pattern prizes and they will be, the patterns will be from the June featured designer. So they'll be to the value of $10. Whoever Anita picks for June, we, I will purchase a pattern for two lucky people. Your name will go into the draw with your bonus points and you can win a pattern from the featured designer for June. How's that? Value of $10. Now, there's one other thing that you need to know. Being in Australia, I'm a day ahead of most of you in the Northern Hemisphere. So for the closing date, I've decided the 31st of May, 11.59 p.m. Alaskan time. Whatever it is in Alaska. Because I figured, figured that's probably the latest in the Northern Hemisphere. And that makes sure you can all get your items in. Now you need to email me your pictures of your finished items plus a link to the pattern would be most appreciated. So I can check out that it's free, paid for and get the point score right. Please don't send them all in on the 31st of May. I do work part time. I do do a lot for charity and I am a quite a busy person. And it would be really helpful to do a slideshow a week of different patterns of amigurumi. So if you finish something, email it to me straight away. And then I can point score it. I'll have a spreadsheet running. And yes, I'll do a slideshow once a week, depending on how many patterns or items I get in. So there you have it. Amigurumi Wars May 23. Am I excited? Unbelievably so. I have two amigurumis on the go. One is a bobble stitch pattern I've been doing for a while. I didn't realize all these bobble stitches would hurt my hands. I'm making that in some beautiful bright yarn my friend Barbara sent me a while back. And I also have sea otter on the go. One of my subscribers bought me a sea otter pattern. What I didn't realize was it was 15 pieces. Making them is not the problem, it'll be putting them together because I am not the best at putting them together. That's why I like Anita's patterns where it's mostly like the head connects to the body because if you see my Yoon Crane bear where the head was separate, he looks a little off to the left. I didn't quite get his head centre, but he's still cute. So there you go, Amigurumi Wars 2023. Jump on board. Have some fun. I hope we get some of my subscribers having a go. Remember, it's as easy or as hard as you want to make it, but it should be fun. Take care, stay safe, and make sure you check out Anita's patterns. They are such good value for money. 
$5.55 Australian, $3.50 US. You cannot ask for more. Stay safe. Bye for now.